proof of vaccination for domestic travel. Mark Dumbroff represents a number of U.S. airlines in court and is an expert on aviation law, joins us now. Good to see you, Counselor. Thank you. At some level, is it going to be easier to enforce a vaccination mandate than a mask mandate? Well, I think right now we've all seen the YouTube videos because we're all taking pictures on the airplanes when an event occurs of what happens. And I think you really are seeing a combination of the fact that airline stress uh, uh, is just present whenever anybody travels, compound that with COVID and masks and add alcohol to it. And you've got a real problem. We've all seen it. I think the real question, if there's a vaccine mandate regarding travelers, domestic travelers in particular, is going to be a, a legal challenge to it, I suspect, because virtually everything is challenged legally by some group um, and and uh, what effect that may have and then even if you get the mandate I, I think the question is really going to be administering it are you going to sort of put everybody in a federal database how is that going to work so I think there's a lot to be seen yet uh, the problem though Leland as as we just saw in the video you played uh, really is is the problem of what's been called the unruly passenger it's it's and it's it's becoming an increasing problem and as the holiday season as we enter the holiday season I suggest that it's going to become somewhat worse the FAA says now that they have zero tolerance. Uh, here's their statistics so far. 3,199 incidents this year, six incidents for every 10,000 flights. So you've got to fly a long time before something like this happens. Uh, of those 789 cases were investigated, $1.1 million in fines. Does the threat of fines really change somebody who's as angry as we see in these videos? <laughs> I doubt seriously that any of the people we see in the videos are thinking about the fines right. uh, before they act the way we see them acting. Uh, what's kind of interesting is the FAA says 789 investigations, and, and that's so far. That's in nine months of 2021. In, I believe, 2019, there were 146 investigations reported by the FAA. They also report $1.1 million in fines. I think, actually, that's in proposed civil penalties uh, as opposed to actually fines that are collected because the FAA proposes civil penalties uh, against passengers who against whom they can impose penalties but then there's a whole process that has to be followed in order to actually recover it um, and and you know I've got five things that I really believe that the uh, federal government ought to be doing here one is naming the disruptive passengers when they propose the civil penalty Customarily, when they propose a civil penalty against an airline, they name the airline or the manufacturer. So, like, a, like an FAA us, list of list of shameful flyers. It's a it's a press release. They issue a press release because they consider press releases to be a, a, an essential part of their enforcement program by way of deterrence. But That's they have indicated that it's their policy to not name the passenger in their press release, which, frankly, makes no sense to me. Uh, particularly given the fact that it is a federal crime to interfere with a flight crew in the performance of their responsibilities. And that's exactly what we see on these videos. There should be a Real federal quick, Mark, no I only, got, I only yes. got about 30 seconds, but I wanted to ask this. Yeah. We watch some of these videos. It, these are getting physical, and you say interfering with a flight crew. Sometimes you're, these people are fighting with flight crews. We rarely hear, rarely have ever hear of people being charged criminally. Why is that? Do the airlines not want to deal with it? No, it's not the airlines. I think what's happening is uh, these people are taken off the airplane by law enforcement. Usually they're the, the local airport police, the state police, whoever services the airport there. They're then turned over to the lo local prosecutors, and the local prosecutors, it seems, are not prosecuting. Interesting. The only prosecution I'm aware of is the, the incident in which the flight attendant was punched in the face, lost two teeth, and there was a federal prosecution. Wow. And I believe the person is now out on bail. These crimes should be federally prosecuted. And frankly, the attorney general ought to appoint a task force to see to it that they're federally prosecuted. Huh. Well, uh, that is that is Sherman-esque. Throw him in jail and <laughs> throw away the key. Uh, Mark, good to see you as always. Thank you, Leland. Great, great conversation. We'll have you back when, uh, when or if, I should say, the VAX mandate goes in. Good to see you, my friend. Up next, Take care. murders are up as...